Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website, <clears throat> which results from what I've learned over 31 years as a family therapist. It's eight self improvement lessons um, meant for anyone. And the fourth lesson has to do with improving your relationships. An important relationship for most people, most adults, is what used to be called marriage. People are now joining and committing to each other without the formal ceremony so much. But nonetheless, uh, sociologists estimate that uh, considering both legal divorce and psychological divorce, over half of Americans break up. The heartache and stress that results from that for adults and any kids they have is beyond calculation. My bias is, as a family therapist who's worked with hundreds and hundreds of troubled couples <clears throat> and, and who has been married myself, is that divorce could be greatly reduced if people paid attention to some warning signs in courtship. There are five reasons, in my judgment, that um, so many people break up. One of the least known and most powerful of these five reasons, incidentally there's another video that describes the five, one of the most powerful reasons is psychological wounds. A high percentage of divorced people seem to be what I call grown wounded children. They did not get what they needed as very young kids. If you are dating seriously with the intention or hope of finding a life partner, I want to offer you from long experience with many people a brief summary of some danger signs that should alert you to the wonderful person that you're attracted to may be a grown wounded child. If so, there is a very high risk in committing to such a person. What I'm about to offer you is just a potpourri of common behavioral symptoms that are common to people who have significant psychological wounds. Excessive shame, excessive guilt, excessive fear, excessive reality distortion, difficulty trusting, and many people have difficulty feeling their feelings or forming healthy bonds. There's lots of behavioral symptoms of such people. On the surface, they appear to be charming, engaging, sexy, attractive, interesting. <clears throat> they are those things. They also have some wounds that they have over several decades learned to camouflage. One symptom is they seldom talk about their childhood uh, or they say they don't remember much about their childhood. That's a kind of learned amnesia to avoid old pain. Another very clear symptom of inner wounds is past or present addictions. There are four kinds of addictions. See the video on that if you want to learn some more about it that trauma. Um, past or present romantic or sexual affairs. That almost certainly indicates um, inner wounds, psychological wounds. People who have significant situational or chronic money problems, including bankruptcy, major symptom. People who have legal problems, chronic problems with the law, um, including drunk driving or embezzlement or white collar crime or shoplifting, um, any kind of problems with the law, especially chronic problems, indicates psychological wounds. An obvious one is drug dependence that goes along with addiction. Incidentally, note that food is a drug. Some people are addicted to the process of eating, shopping, thinking about food, preparing food, eating food, <clears throat> especially sugar and carbohydrates. 
A symptom that often indicates inner psychological wounds is obesity. There are organic reasons for obesity also. Uh, some compassionate person has said that extra <clears throat> every extra fat cell is an unshed tear, T-E-A-R, that can come from incomplete grief of early childhood trauma and losses. That can come, incomplete grief comes from psychological wounds. Anybody <clears throat> who is involved in crime, anybody who has what some people might describe as, quote, anger problems, an explosive temper, with or without violence, often indicates psychological wounds. <clears throat> Someone who has um, the addiction to a relationship, which is now called codependence. People are, who are so focused on another person, same gender, different gender, parent, friend, lover, people who are over-focused on a relationship and another person and lose sight of themselves are certain to be carrying psychological wounds. They're grown, wounded children. People who are noticeably controlling of other people and manipulative can become skilled at getting you to do what they want you to do. Usually they are grown wounded children. A major symptom is people who have low self-esteem or little self-respect. People who have trouble with eye contact, maintaining friendly, firm eye contact, who have trouble asserting their needs, people who apologize all the time. <clears throat> These are all normal behavioral symptoms of people who have low self-esteem, which is a manifestation of the inner wound of excessive shame. Another symptom is people who are socially isolated, who have few to no friends. They may have acquaintances, but no real friends, which implies they're not comfortable with social intimacy or perhaps sexual intimacy. Um, people who can't tolerate being alone, people who become very disturbed and upset if they can't be around other people. That's a form of being out of balance that may, it does not prove, but it may indicate psychological wounds. A big one and a common one in American society is self-neglect. People who don't care for their bodies, don't get eye checkups, don't get dental work, don't work out, don't get enough exercise, don't get enough sleep, don't eat properly, and people who intellectualize that or ignore it or laugh about it, almost certainly are grown wounded children who were taught I'm not important enough to be healthy. Another clue, which is indirect, is if a charming person that you're dating has a family whose family members have many of these characteristics. Those are signs of a low nurturance, dysfunctional family. That is a sign of inner wounds. If you are controlled by a false self, which is, uh, which implies that you have psychological wounds, you will disregard what I've just said, or you will commit to such a charming person with many of these symptoms anyway. Um, each of these symptoms that I've just raced right through by themselves do not prove inner wounds. If you're dating someone, no matter how attractive they are, and they have several of these wounds, several of these symptoms, red light, they are probably a grown wounded child in denial who has mastered the art of pretending that they're okay when they are not. Often, as you know, after people commit, after the romantic chase is over, um, often people say, I don't know what happened, my partner turned into a different person. 
that person is the grown wounded child that was hidden during dating. Uh, it's a very common uh, dynamic. So what can you do about all this? If you want to find out more about grown wounded children, about people who don't know how to problem solve, which is another sign of grown wounded children, and about healthy relationships, I invite you to study lessons one through four in the nonprofit Break the Cycle website at sfhelp.org. It comes from what I've learned after 31 years <clears throat> of studying people and listening to their struggles and stresses and after recovering myself because I am a grown wounded child myself and I'm divorced myself. So I have been in the trenches. I hope you find this interesting, educational, thought-provoking. Thanks for watching.